If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. Now, let's create a custom event to play a sound. So whenever I pick the blueprint, the pickup, then I know that something is telling me that something happened apart from seeing it disappear into the thing air. Let's first... Um, no, yeah, it, it, it's okay, it's okay. Let's first create a custom event, add custom event, and I'm gonna call it play pickup sound. Here, this is an event created by us, which means that nothing else is gonna call this. If I leave it like this, then I'm, I'm screwed because nothing will call it. How do we call this event? Then we have to do it manually. Here I'm hiding the coin, so here I should play the sound, play pickup sound. Now, whenever this event triggers, it will call my custom event. And my custom event for now, it could say print ding play and it says ding. Let's actually play a sound. Here in my content drawer, I have nothing, <laughs> not, not even one sound, so let's add a sound. Here I'm going to add the add feature or content pack, and I'm going to go to content packs. Here is the starter content. It contains a lot of assets. Let, let's press add to project. It has materials. It has also sounds, particles, meshes. So it's a good start. Like it says, it's a starter content. Now I'm going to open the content drawer and I can see that the start, starter content here has an audio. And here in the audio, I want maybe, I don't want the explosion because it's, it's too, too loud. Let's play it. That's, it's too much. It's definitely too much. Maybe the explosion here. Yeah, it could it could work. It could work, maybe. Light. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, the explosion is fine, I believe. It's the only one that d don't loop and and won't scare me. So, let's play a 2D sound. For now, let's play sound if we play a 2D sound, then it will be like playing a sound from a menu. Maybe I should play sound at location. Yeah, that should be better. Sound at location, if we added attenuation, it would work. Here I need to select a sound, content drawer, explosion cue, and now I can press the arrow. Or I, I could select it from here, but that way is faster. I need a location, and do I need anything else? Ah, that, that's, that's too much setting. I only need the location, and I want it to play from the center of this blueprint, so let's get my actor location. And I'm gonna connect it like this. This will play a sound from the center of my actor. Uh, remember that this blueprint, its parent class, is an actor. So that's why I'm calling it an actor. Let's compile, save it, and play. So now, whenever I, I get the blueprint, it plays the sound. 